Hello guys, BJ Manuel here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to be showing you how to create this TV show slider. You can use it for your church video, copy video, or even for your YouTube channel. It's going to be easy and fun to create. So stay tuned. And please, if you have not subscribed to the channel or if today is your first time, please subscribe to the channel. Give this video a thumbs up. Without any further ado, let's jump right into it. Alright guys, so let's go straight into the tutorial of today. Um, these things are very simple to create. All you need is just to pay close attention. So now, first we're going to add a background. I'm going to use the stretch to fill composition area. Then I'll change the color. You can give it whatever color you want. Uh, Alright, so um, next we're going to bring in, or before we bring anything in, we're going to create the masking shapes first. Now the masking shapes you can create in Pixel Lab or whichever design um, application you have. And you can also design it here. So I'm going to be showing you how you can do it here. So um, the first thing you are going to do is click on Add. Go to Vector and Drawing. All right. So you go to Vector and Drawing. Click on Vector and Drawing. So you use this. The middle here is where you use to um, move around the cursor or the crosshair you see there. All right. So. Um, you move it to wherever you want to start from. Okay, so me, I'm going to start from the center here. I want to start from the middle. So I'll, um, once I am at the position I want, I'll click, I'll tap on that that place, and then I'll come down here. You see that red line? Once that red line shows, it means it is aligning to a particular point um, that is preset, uh, like a preset or something. Okay, so I'll click on that. So it adds another node. And then I'll move to the next point I want to add my node. So I'm sure you are following um, as I'm going with it. So follow me. I'll add another node. And then I'll go, yeah, top there. Add another node there. I'll come here. You see that red line showing me that it's aligning with the one below, the node below it. So I'll add another node there. And that is it, guys. We are done with this one. So we're done. So I'll click out. You can go back and edit the the shapes or the the points if it is not according to what you want you can come back to edit points all right you see you can adjust the points to make sure that it is um they are where you want it to be right but for me i'm just going to leave it there um you can try and make yours perfect uh, i'm not sure mine is as perfect as i want it but um, basically you understand you get the gist so you do the second one I shouldn't be doing it now but i'm going to show you i'm just going to do it again for the sake of those that uh you know okay so i'll just quickly go to that add one here Okay, so um, I'm just going to adjust it a little bit so it fits, it gives me what I am looking for, okay, yeah, it doesn't have to be perfect, but you can make yours as perfect as you want it to be, but for me, this is all good, okay, now um, we'll do the third one. Alright, so you can go ahead and adjust it as you see fit. Beautiful. Okay, guys. Um, so I think we are good to go now. Now, the next thing you want to do now is you want to bring in all the images you want to use. Um, uh, that you want to mask these guys with so I'll go in and then I'll bring in one of the uh,
Okay, so um, I'll bring in my image and then what you want to do now is I'll um, turn all this off. I'll turn off. Uh, so it's only remaining the image and the mask I want to use. So I'll bring the mask to the top and then I'll switch on that guy. I'll drag it to the back a little bit so that that arrow is lapping with the edge of um, the mask. So let me increase it a little bit. All right. So yeah, something like that works for me. Now, once you have done that, all you need to do is press and hold the one below and then select the one at the top again and then come to this uh this point here this guy here is what we want to use okay so that is the one you are going to select once you select it it's going to be maxed like that so you see now it's taking the shape of um, the mask uh, at the top and that's basically it all you need to do now is just um, add some animation to it so click on the the group you've created or the mask you've created um let me just change the name to background so that we we can be calling them their names background good now you click on the background go to 15 frames 15 frames click on move and transform then you can add you see this place here is where you add your um keyframe and then go to the beginning and then drag this brother out like so cool now put your um playhead at the middle of the two keyframes and click on the uh the motion graph and then click on this one here and then drag this handle to the so that's the ease in animation all right so the next thing you want to do is probably add some motion blur so go to blur and then click on motion blur add it and that's it so you have a smooth movement like that all right so you do the same thing with this guy bring it to the top all right so you want to go bring the image you are going to use in it so i'll go to add media and then i'll go to where my image is and then i'll just pick it from there cool um, now you can adjust it take it to the back or bring the mask to the front and then adjust this guy you can Go to move and transform and then blow it up a little bit all right so it fills uh the mask okay so yeah something like that so you do the same thing like you did the first one hold press and hold click on this and then come here click on this guy boom and then you have that nice now if it's not looking the way you want you can still click on it go into click on it go to edit group all right and then click on the image and you can still blow it up as much as you want until it gives you exactly what you need all right you can also blow the image up to if you want it to be bigger cool so i can just adjust my image and what i can do is i'll just add some movement to my image right from here so i'll click on my um move add a keyframe and my transform i mean I'm, I'm clicking on the transform the one that is green right now and then i'll just blow this up a little bit like that and we are good to go all right now so you can see that the one behind there is no contrast between the image uh, the mask on the top and the image at the back so you can remedy that by either you know blurring it out so you click on add effect and go to blur and then you can add um, gaussian blur so i'll add the gaussian blur nice um just so it's not too much add the gaussian blur i can if i want i can you know go to my effect add effect go to color and light saturation and vibrance 
and then I'll go there and just reduce the color a bit. Yes, all I'm trying to do is just create some contrast between the two layers so we can um, see what is going on. Now, the next thing you want to do now is you want to add some shadow to this Mr. John Wick that you've just created. So you go there, click on it, border and shadow, and then go to shadows, activate your shadow, and blow it up a little bit. The size 100 should be enough, and then come to the position for the X position. I'll just drag it to the right, and, and no need for the Y position, I think. Cool. Now, another thing you can do is you can add some um, outline to it if you want. So you go to border, add border, outside border, and you see you have that border there. You can change the color if you want to. You don't have to do this, okay? I'm just showing you other things you can do to make your work look nice and outstanding, all right? So you can decide to do all that and you can decide not to, okay? So I think that that red looks good to me. I'll just leave the red like that. And then um, that's it, guys. So all you need to do now is add some movement to it. Click on it, go to move and transform, add your um, keyframe on your move, and then drag it back, and then you drag that back like so. And again, you can use the same yeah, graph editor. So what you need to do now, so they don't come in at the same time. Oh, let me add the blur effect. So you add the motion blur effect again. So what we need to do now is stagger the two like so. So they come in at different time. Yeah, something like that. Right, that looks cool. Now, next thing I'm going to do now is the third one. All we need to do for the third one now is bring it to the top. Okay. And then what we are going to do, probably nothing much, as I can say, you just change the color. Um, so I'll go to um, click on it, go to color and fill, and then I'll click on the gradient, this one here, that's the gradient, and then you can just add whichever color suits you, okay? Any color that suits you is what you use, period. Um, I don't have any preference for this one. Cool. So that's it, basically. That's all we are doing, all right? So now, um, another thing you can do um, for this one we just created is I'm just going to show you something um, extraordinary or not extraordinary something extra you can do so I'll just add go to media I'll go to where my image is that I want to use right now and then I'll pick it up now you see this guy I want to use it as an accent for this one we just we are just we just colored now this gradient that we just colored now so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to duplicate my shape three all right this shape three i'm going to duplicate it just follow me closely i'll click on it i'll come to duplicate i'll duplicate layer so i have two of it right now and then i'll bring this image i just brought in i just selected this one here this guy here i'll bring it to the middle of them both Okay, so and then I'll drag my image, just follow me carefully, I'll drag my image there, somewhere around there, okay, cool. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I am going to mask them together. I'm going to mask the shape, the background, the image I brought in and my mask. Now the mask is shape 3 copy. So you can see shape three copy right there all right so you click and hold like so and then click just like we've been doing before so we have that you get it now i hope you are getting it cool so another thing so the next thing you're going to do now is i'm going to you know click on it and um, go to blending and opacity i'll reduce the opacity thereof Cool. so you see we have something like that in the shape you know it's not just plain so you have you've mixed it up and then you have something cool like that okay so now the next thing uh, we are going to do now is probably I will I'm going to you know yeah go to move and transform uh, sorry 
I'm going to go to 15 frames. I'll click on shape and then go to move and transform. Add my now I'm on shape three. Please follow me carefully. I'm, I don't want this video to be too long. So uh, I'm on shape. I'm shape three now. You should have shape three. Go so make sure your editing is on shape three right now. So I'll add that and then I'll come to the beginning and then I'll drag it out like that. Cool. And then I'll add the same graph, motion graph like that. I'll do the same thing for our group and mask too. If you are following me, you should have that too. So I'll do the same thing, the same movements, the same everything, drag it out. Cool. And then I'll add the same graph, period. And so we are going to have something like this. So what I'll do now is I'm going to stagger this so they come in at different times and then I'll come to five seconds. I'll select all of them and then click on this one here so that the timing is same. You understand? All right. Next thing I'm going to do now is, guys, the next thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to group this, the first and the second layer together so they become one shape. And then I'll drag them here. So if you give it a play, you have something like this. And then what I will do is I'm just going to go in there, edit group, and then add motion blur to all of them, the both of them. Motion blur, motion blur. And then you come out so you have, yeah, something like that. Nice. And basically that's all there is to this stuff we're doing right here. Okay, so um, whatever is left is text. So you just add your text and you are good to go. Period. That's everything that was done in this composition. Nothing more, nothing less. Okay, guys. So, yeah. And that's basically it. All you need to do now is just bring in your text, add your text, animate your text, and you are good to go. Period. If you have any question, please let me hear it in the comment section below and I will be quick to um, address your worries. Please, if you have not subscribed to the channel, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Give this video a like. You can also share it um, if you derive any value from it. Thank you so much, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.